last time on this old outboard. Alright baby, I hope this works. Don't mess up my gasket please. See I gotta get on the two studs. It looks pretty good, pretty good. It's probably the uh, doohickey. Just crank the shaft seal. There it goes. It's in. All right. Now, also, what I'm gonna have to do, real quick, I think, <laughs> I might not want to take any pressure off of this thing, is probably put some kind of support under here. See how this thing's already with the weight of that motor? Throw some 2x4s under here. May not be a good idea to leave it like that. <laughs> Alright, let me figure it out real quick. I'm trying to get this done, man. So I put it on my one board motor stand, built this stand, one board, pretty cool for, you know, it's for smaller outboards, but it's going to hold that damn thing for now. I didn't want to use that other thing I had, it's just getting rotten, not the big giant one. Uh, that's for the bigger motors. The, the middle size one with the handles on it, brum, brum, brum. it's, it's got to be rebuilt. So the plan was, when I put this wood on, huh? you know, I mentioned it, Cat and Ron, I'll throw the 15 on it, you know, really wasn't meant to put that freaking 30 on there. But this ain't the one I want to rebuild, but I do want to reinforce it one of these days. But the 15 should hang on there no problem. So I, I probably built this thing much. 12 years ago, <laughs> you know, just scrap wood like I got laying around here. And these came off of one of my little tillers, two-stroke tillers. The, the reason I put these big wheels on it too is because working in the backyard, you know, I was in the grass and, you know, it was easier with these big wheels to roll motors around. All right, let me figure it out. So I've got this old uh, little cart here that's made for VCT floor tile. What I used to do flooring, and I'm looking at this. Uh huh. I like it. No more, you know. And I can still, you know, lift it up and do this if I have to. It'll hold some weight. So, give it a shot. It works. Yeah, baby, I put a motor on this. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Hee, 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 hee. What's gonna happen next? All right, baby, it's this old outboard, the 2535 conversion. I'm gonna call it 35 with that big jet I put in there. 72D high speed jet in the car. Start back up on this wire and get that done. So, you know what? I was wrong. It fits right in, baby. <laughs> Cut these puppies off. Yeah, right there. I've been catching them shiners, you know, in the mornings and then going down there in the evenings. 
and man I haven't had any luck till lately finally you know I was like crazy but I picked one up the other day man he was huge yeah baby <laughs> how's that for a choke daddy shiner damn he fat Boy, that's, that whole mess is dinner right there He's big. Look at the size of this thing. Cool. So I went back down there later on that evening. It was a beautiful evening. The uh, rain came through and cleared up and nice and cool out. So you see all these crazy birds feeding. Look at them, man. They're going crazy. That means the fish should be feeding. I took that big shiner, hooked him to the lips, and threw him way out there. Yeah, it's nice down here. Nice and cool out. All right, Mr. Shiner. Boy, he ain't flopping around too much. Oh, shit, there he goes. <laughs> he almost slipped right through the dock. I got him right in the middle of the weeds right there. It should be kind of sandy. Look at the line. There it goes already. That's got to be him now. And I got him pretty far because he's so big. Kind of past the grass. Look at this crap. I even got a torch going over here. Tiki torch. I got him past the grass right in the little sandbar area. And as soon as it hit the water, man, whoosh, whoosh, took off. And I said, oh, that must be him. He's so big. A little while later, not, that, not even a few minutes, I said, you know, pulling on it and checking him. And Usually, I mean, he was big. You could feel, you could tell, you know, I said, man, something ain't right. So I wheel him in. He's dead. So whatever that was, hit him. And I'm like, I'll be damned. Not big enough to, to really swallow him, I guess. Threw him, you know, he was dead. Threw him, threw him to his turtle food. So, uh, let's see, I got some little blue locky tighty. Throw a little lock tight in here. Yeah. Keep these screws nice and snugly. So I threw the next shiner on. And this time I, I put the bobber on him. And right there at the dock, there's a deep hole. Right next to the old dock. Islands there, real deep. So I threw him down there, and the bottom starts going dink, doink, dink. I said, son of a gun, and I went to grab the camera. Damn, my bobber's going down. I ran for the camera, it's back up. There was one on. He went down, I ran for the camera, turned around, went down again. Damn, man. <sighs> Took the fish right off the hook, threw the lid. I took the last shiner I had, threw him on there. Right back, same spot. Yep, the exact same thing, man. Except for this time, I didn't run for the camera. I mean, that bobber went whoosh. And I hooked that shiner in the back this time instead of in the lips. Look at that, baby. Perfect circle hook in the corner. He nice little fish. He nice little fish. They hungry. It's the first fish I've caught off this dock in a long time. Put one of them fresh ones on. Bob starts bink, 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 bink. You know, kind of lollygagging around like he was getting chased. So I grabbed a rod and I started reeling in a little bit on it, you know. Get a little, little tension on it. Well, that made the fish take off. He starts heading for open water, deep water. 
So I let them run a little bit and boom, set the hook. And the damn thing, man, I mean, it was so fast. The way everything happened. Well, I had another one on and he was lollygagging around. And I started, you know, giving the shiner a little tug and he took off that way. And I went to set the damn hook. And somehow he ended up over here pretty fast. Got under them weeds and my line broke. I mean, it was the weirdest thing. He was going that way. I set the hook and all of a sudden, anyway. It was fun. Wish I had that on video. It was pretty cool the way it happened. And I go, damn, just like that. And the guy over on the other dock, he goes, I saw that. So my bobber's floating out there, you know. I go, oh well, there goes my bobber. Well, maybe it'll wash up. That nut a little bit tight. There we go. Oh yeah, baby, that's much better than that silver cheapy thing next kill switch wiring here so this one will go to ground i'm gonna throw all these grounds like right there this one will go to my black and yellow all right baby you know i think i'm gonna probably put this ground like up here in a day that'll probably work instead of going all the way down here with it and these are the best connectors, the waterproofy. I like it. I like those. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then the other pain in the butt, this thing. So what was happening was All this stuff was missing. The bolt, the spacer. I think you can see that. Put that spacer on. Then I had this metal piece here. I had to fit it in there to take up the slack. Because the original bolt just had the threads at the bottom. And then it, the bolt was thick, you know, round, no threads that fit in there perfect. So then I had to find the little bolt to fit. So, pain in the ass, instead of getting online, start ordering up freaking parts I didn't need, I just dug all this crap up. So she works. All right, so this is a nice freaking set of cables, battery cables. Man, a good, you know, six feet after it leaves the motor. Just clean them all off, a little Comet. Look good, baby. There's the uh, boat cover Erica gave me. Looks like I ought to take all them straps off and take it down to the laundromat and wash it. So yeah, this thing, man, is like 10 times plus <clears throat> better than the one I picked up at Kmart, that flimsy little thing. This thing's pretty, pretty heavy duty compared to that one, so it should last a while. I just want to see how big this thing is on here. Should work great. It's gonna just, you know, like the tarp, just hang over, clamp it down, keep the sun off this damn thing. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Like I said, it's just a quickie. You know, her boat's 19, this is 16. Plenty to hang over the sides. Of course, the canopy's gonna be down. So yeah, sweet, man. See if I can get pick up a couple more shiners to roll out there at Captain Mark's grass line. You gotta be kidding me. Can you see this? Holy mackerel. That's a first. I'm just throwing blanks here, you know? I wasn't 
you know, aiming or anything. I saw one little shiner go by. Look at all the specs. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of that guy. Holy moly macaroni. Man, I gotta get some minnows down here. I knew there was speck down here. There's a big deep hole right there where I caught that bass the other night. Maybe I should bring my minnow bucket with me. Stop off and get some freaking minnows. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unbelievable. That was just, um, I mean, you couldn't see these fish down there. They were laying on the bottom. That's amazing. I, I need to get some minnows down here. A couple cane poles. I, I mean, I know there's some out here because I've caught these little guys before. That one was nice. Oh no. There's one still stuck in the net. Come on out of there, you. Come on. There you go. So what was that, eight? I get on that, yeah. Oh, man. Sweet. Oh, look, my bobber did wash up. This <laughs> is son of a gun. I walked past the thing 10 times. Cool. I'm getting low on bobber. You know the channel. Oh, yeah, baby.